Lord. All the things that you have done, I'm grateful for your love. I give you the praise. It is coming from my heart. Praise and thanks unto you, Lord. For all the things that you have done, I'm grateful for your love. I give you the praise. Yes, we are counting our blessings. Yes. yes, 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 yes. Happy weekend to every one of you. We say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching us from. Yes, it's another episode of, you know already, <laughs> I don't have to say it, right? You know already, creating mm -hmm. passive income. income. If mm -hmm. we can you can too yes um welcome to another episode and in this episode of course we're gonna be talking about you know you know the topic already <laughs> uh, the topic is mainly you using what you already have okay making it work for you mm -hmm. and the topic mainly is are you working for money or your money is working for you. We're going to be looking at just opposing the two. Um, is it okay to work for money? It's okay. But is it possible to allow our money work for us? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I have these amazing ladies here. Oh, my God. I am going to learn a lot from them as well. And bet you, you are learning a lot to watching us now or catching up on the replay. You know, there is this saying that, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep yeah yes you know the conclusion already and mm -hmm. we don't want that conclusion to come to pass in your life that is why as we move towards the end of the year 2022 we are bringing this to you so that you can have a thought over it and make a better preparation for yep. the coming year and it's never even too late to lay a solid foundation. So, are you working for money or your money is working for you? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna um, call on Modupe. Before I call on Modupe, can we, uh, my people, say hi to um, our audience back home? We have a guest here, Pat is here all the way from Texas. Hi. Is my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> I have Omolara from Texas as well. Hello, everyone. And I have Modupe Ola all the way from California. Hi, everyone. Yes. Hi, everyone. <laughs> nice to have and, you here. Oh, my God. Mama Prenio is here. Wow. Yes. I know. Adebola all the way from New York. <laughs> Yay. Nice to be here again. Hi, everyone. Yeah, we're glad to have you all here. And you know i know you are you all are ready to impact on you know everyone listening up to us now um about the urgency of this topic that we're gonna talk about so i'm gonna start with you Mudupe, okay i want to i want to know that you know the topic why should anybody even want to think about making their money work for them Thank yeah you. Mudupe? Yeah. yeah, can okay. you hear me? Can you all hear me? Just want to make sure you can hear me. Can you hear yeah, me? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. Yeah. I'm having some yeah. funny glitches here, but you know what? We're still going to put it all out there. Thank you, everybody joining us. And, uh, you know, probably going to catch up on this replay later. We're excited, always excited, trying to bring you value. And as you can hear, our host that said our topic for the day. 
we are looking at those side. Your question, Muturayo, should we even be working for money or should we have money working for us? That was your right. question, right? I just want to make sure I have right. your question right. Okay. Yeah. Why should anybody have their money working for them? The only simple reason, right, that I'm just going to put out there because I know we will delve into this some more is what I would say that you don't want a situation whereby you are human, human capa capability or our capacity, whether we like it or not, is limited. And because it's limited, our needs as human also is insatiable. So if we put ourselves in a position whereby we just keep working for money and not the other way around, guess what? We're going to get knocked off in no time. Our needs are never going to be satisfied. Mm. And so we want to make sure we put certain things in place. We set certain things in motion. And that is exactly where we're looking at this topic from today. Making your money work for you, putting certain things in motion. So by, by the time you have those things in motion and set in place, then it literally translates into your money working for you. For those of us who are probably, you know, very familiar with this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert <laughs> Kiyoshaki, that particular concept was really elaborated. Somebody put in the comment box, rich dad poor dad if you've not read that book yet you need to read that before the season mm -hmm. goes out the concept we are trying to throw out there embraces you know around what we're teaching today or what we're probably going to pour out there to just inspire someone you want to put yourself in a position whereby not only are you sane emotionally psychologically physically and all around there's no way you're going to be working for money for your entire life and not being burnt out. And so hmm. the exact reason why you want to put certain things in motion, systems in place, certain things, you know, put in place so that it literally translates into you now having your money work for you. This is really broad. We will get to that. And I know Motraya is going to take us home when she teaches us all, all the other questions. But that is just throwing it out there as an intro so that our people joining us following us would know where exactly we're coming from this evening yes yeah. back to you Motura. thank you so much modupe oh my god thank you thank you if you are yet to read that book yes mm -hmm. you can gift that to yourself as a christmas gift and create some time to go through it okay bless you with that book yes have some self-development right there mm -hmm not just reading but applying of mm. course you will not get the result working for money until you allow your money to work for you so mm. i'm coming back to texas now Omolara, mm. i i mean I, I want you to tell us what does it really mean to say uh you know we need to work for i mean we need to make our money work for us all right thank you Mutunrayo. uh as we all know um to all our audience out there um to each and every one of us listening to us and to those who are going to catch up on the replay as we all know that um, money um is a tool that can help you to achieve each and every one of us to achieve our goals it can provide um comfort it can also provide us stability for our family Money can make it so easier to plan for the future. Whether you like it or not, everybody needs money, one way or the other. And um, this, uh, it also allows us to like save towards important milestone for ourselves, for our family. But to achieve these things, you need to know how exactly uh, money works for you. How does it work for you? The question is for me and you how they're listening to us. How does money really work for you? Making your money work for you means like um, taking control of your finances, then using that control to do what to continuously improve your um, financial stability and security. Then um, you, you may eventually be able to gain financial independence while you um, making your money work for you. You, build, you can build your wealth through investing, 
probably by having a business of your own, just like we have a business. Everyone, every one of us on this platform, we have a nine to five job we're doing. And at the same time, we have a business that we are doing. And this is um, what we all are working towards in order to like, um, you know, um, invest in our future by making, by um, letting us, uh, le letting money work for us instead of us working for money for the rest of our life. So um, you can't do this by, you can't make money work for you by you having multiple jobs, you know, working for multiple companies. So the only thing you can do for money to work for you is um, to own your own business. Mm. When you own your own business, you can put money um, into, uh, you can put money into investment by you investing in something, you investing in business. When you invest in business, um, that will give you an opportunity, you know, to be able to allow money to work for you. Some investment you can do, and some um, some of these investments also they do they do pay dividends, and these dividends you can use it also um, as something as a backup thing for you at the end of the day. So which you can either take you can either take the um, dividend. Um, either you can take it to as an extra income or you can reinvent it to help your portfolio grow. Making your money work for you also is an important step, you know, on the road to financial stability and um, independence. When you're earning money, um, by tr you can earn money either by trading your time. Trading You trading your time is important and you don't want to trade your time for the rest of your life, Right. You want to, um, you want to, um, you want money, you know, to want to use money how they to work for you. Right. You cannot be trading your time, you know, for the, like I said, for the rest of your life. It is important to find a way to make money working for you. Mm -hmm. It's um, you uh, you'll be having to be actively, and the money will actively, you'll be involved actively, right? Why you might dream of being able to make uh, money okay let me say um as as a business partner i mean as a business mm -hmm. owner right mm -hmm. you we as a business owner we um working we sorry we're not working like every other people right one of us as before let me use myself as an example right i was having multiple jobs before mm -hmm. so after a time i said to myself that okay me having multiple jobs is just like I'm working for money. At the end of the day, everything is going on bills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So by the time I set my uh, standard straight, I set my uh, my mindset straight, I eventually do away with some of this um, job having one um, one full time main job, right? One main thank you, one main job, and then um, at the end of the day, all my savings that I have, I had to put it. I had to invest it in the business. So where thereby I'm using that opportunity, using that thing, I'm using money to work for me. Right. I'm not working myself so hard like I used to do before. But since I started my business, I, I, I have, there is comfort. I have peace of mind. I can rest very well. Uh, I'm not rushing to like, okay, going from one uh, one job to the other. I'm not rushing to clock in from one job to the other other than my first job. And so thereby I have um I have a way, I've seen a way whereby I can make money to work for me. So um thereby have I have um, financial stability, I have financial security, and I can plan for my future and my, my children's future. Right. So thank you. Thank you so much. You've heard it from Omolara. Yes. <laughs> Whatever you are doing now, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. But guess what? In as much as you're trading your time, you're clocking in and clocking out, that strength is not going to continue like that. Mm -hmm. Remember, as we age, the strength would depreciate. If we want it or we want it. Yes, I know. We, we don't like to accept that. But it's just the reality. Okay? Yeah. Now is the time to start looking at something especially i mean business ownership of your own that is legitimate that can work for you 
why you are sleeping, why you are doing life, and why you are still at that nine to five. Okay, yeah, Pat, I'm coming to you. Okay, <laughs> um, one may really ask that you know, yes, I know it's okay, it's perfect for for me. Uh, to allow my money to work for me, right? Uh, this so money, many of us do not even have it because we go for that nine to five yeah. and, you know, we use everything on bill, as Omolara has said. But if there is a will, we believe there is a way, right? Yeah. So how can one make money work for us? How can we make money work for us? Thank you. Thank you so much. And it's an honor to be here today. Um, so what I would say is you have to create a budget. You know, I didn't used to do that. Um, when I used to work, which I still do like nine to five, I just go out there and do whatever. I, don't, I, I never had a budget. Okay, I go I, out there, I spend my my check, whatever comes in, and it's like every two weeks you are you are struggling, you know, to pay your bills and stuff like that. So in order, I feel like in order for your money to work for you, you have to create a budget. Either open um, an interest bearing account, okay, or pay off high interest debt. You know, some of us. Well, I've stopped using credit cards, but I know a lot of people that still use credit cards with high interest rates, you know? So at the end of the day, you're making money. Your money is going into, you know, paying off your interest on your credit card or stuff like that. And definitely consider in investing. Do your research. Figure out what you want to invest in because, look, yes, there's a lot of scams out there. Somebody can tell you, hey, come invest in this, come invest in that. And because you want to make extra income, hey, you take all your money and you go invest in something that wouldn't bring you, you know, any profit. So number one, yes, make a budget, um, invest and know where your money is going. OK, write things down. If you're not sure, everybody has a cell phone now. We all have smartphones. You have your notes. Make sure you know where your money is going. Um, and the best way to make money work for you, reduce your spending. Hey, we are women, right? We love to we love to shop. And I say that all right. Like, especially in this business that we are in, we've gotten so much knowledge on how to spend our money, how to invest, you know, and things like that. We are not just in this business. We, they teach us a lot, okay, from different business partners and in all the meetings that we have and stuff like that, they teach us how to spend our money. And I feel like we throw, us women, even men, we throw a lot of money away. We spend unnecessarily. So reduce your spending, um, identify your financial habits, avoid creating new debts. Look, I've been in debt before. I think the last interview I had with uh, Miss Emily, I was talking about how my car was repossessed, you know, and I nearly lost this home that I'm, I'm living in right now. It went into foreclosure, but thank God, some way, somehow, I found a way to secure my home back. Okay, so lower, um, find a way to identify um, bad financial habits, avoid and avoid creating new ones. Um, I know it's easier said than that, but we can do it. When you put your mind to something, you can definitely do it. Prioritize spending on things that are important. Okay, um, I'll say important. If you have older children, hey, you're saving towards college. That is important. OK, paying your mortgage, that is important. Buying a new bag or buying, you know, the trendy, trendiest shoe or whatever. That mm. is not your priority. There are so many things that you can prioritize and put money, you know, put money aside for the future. And another idea is to um, what, um, celebrate each time you pay something off. And I'll relate that in our business. We are always celebrating milestones. You know, somebody, uh, uh, one month or two, whatever it is, we are always celebrating other people in our business. So look, do that for yourself. 
celebrating celebrate paying that credit card off or you know that school loan or whatever it is stay motivated um and don't don't lose your focus definitely you so much. Do, not, do not lose your focus remember that you no longer have those depths anymore you know because that will only keep your dream going you know, so um, I think that's all I have to say right now. Yeah. So stay focused, be motivated. Do not lose hope. Definitely Thank not. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pat. So I'm coming back to New York. Okay. All right. And I have a New York arrived there watching Rochelle Henry. We thank you for making it to this live. Let's know what you think in the comment section. So Adebola, I, you know, we get this a lot of time from you know, people that say, um, yes, I know I, I, would I would love to make my money work for me. Mm -hmm. I would love to have something of my own that is working while I'm still sleeping. But at the end of the day, you get things like, um, yeah, I, I, but I don't have, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't have any money to, to do a business. Um, what will you say, especially when the same set of people are, you know, getting involved with things that has to do with liability, taking away their money. Will you then say, here is my question, will you then say starting a business, you know, of your own is, I mean, and leveraging. When I say leveraging, you know it, right? I want you to school us on that. Leveraging on a system that is already working. Will you say it's a good way to make your money? work for you all right all right all right thank you uh Motunrayo. okay i mean those were great uh information from all the ladies here all right let's talk about uh leveraging what is working i mean talking about your money working for you i'm all game for that i don't want to work for money for life you know what i'm what i said that if you cannot find a way to make money while you are asleep you are right. going to work till you die mm -hmm. so you have to find a way out we all have bills i mean we are not if we're rich already why are we looking to do one business or the other if mm -hmm. we're already mm -hmm. so but we have to make sacrifices we have to do it one way or the other in order to you know to create that long term that legacy for ourselves so that we don't have to work for money forever being an employee is you working for money because you are trading your time for the money. Yeah. That means you can afford not to work mm -hmm. because if you don't work, you're not going to get money. There's no income coming in. All right. So you have to get yourself, you know, in that uh, away from that mindset that I really have to have a job. I really have to, oh, uh, at least this job is going to pay me at the end of the month. It is certain. It is not certain. They can tell you it is over tomorrow and there's nothing you're going to do about it. All right. Talking about how you can get your money working for you. Start your own business. You need a passive income stream. You need a residual income stream. There are a lot of ways you can get started without a big capital. I'm not going to tell you that you can get, you can start a business without capital. No, but there are a lot of ways you can get started without a big capital. You need to go out there. You need to learn things. You need to educate yourself. You need to invest in yourself. Learn new things. Find out from people who are already doing it. If you don't have an idea, ask people who do. You know, nothing is going to happen if you do nothing. If you just sit down and you think money is going to work for you, no, you're going to work for money till you die. We don't want that to happen to anybody. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. How can you leverage what's working? Why would you want to start stressing yourself when there are a lot out there working? It's all over the, uh, the social media or uh, this different people saying different things, you know? There are a lot of things that you can do. But if you are not sure, if you haven't found any, then help, let us help you. We know ways by which you can leverage a system that is working, a system whereby you don't even have to bother, I mean, worry about the technicality of doing things, a system whereby they hold your hands, you have a community to teach you, you have a, a friend to hold your hand, you know, you, you are able to leverage the knowledge of, 
people who have been doing this for years from different parts of the world, including those of us that you're saying now. So we are here to help. All I want to say is that don't waste time too much. Look for something that is working. Ask us about it. You see our names on the screen. Let us know. We can hold your hands. We can help you to get started. Business ownership is another way to get your passive income stream flowing. It's a way to get your residual income stream flowing. Don't just sit at home and just put your hand and how do I get started? I don't have money. Do something. Talk yeah. to people. Leverage a system that is working, that is global, that has gone to the test of time. It is proven with results. We can see it. You can see it. Like Pat was saying, we celebrate different milestones. Is it that we don't have challenges? Like every other thing, there are challenges. You yeah. jump over them. You go through them. You take care of yourself. You get up. You shake things off. And you continue until it happens for you. You don't stop pushing. And I'm so grateful for the community that we have. Yeah. You know, I, I, I have experienced communities and I just so much love what we have. You have help. You have people to help you. So don't waste time. It's time to allow your money to work for you. You have to get it started. It's not going to start overnight. You have to do something. Thank you, Motorayo. Thank you so much. Okay. You have to do it. If you don't do it, nothing happens. Nobody's mm -hmm. going to get it done for you. Mm -hmm. So, Modupe, I know we are going closer to our time. Yes, in a couple of minutes, um, I want you to address this. You know, some people believe that saving their money in the bank is just the best way to guarantee the future. Is um, I mean, they prefer that to, you know, maybe putting their money in something that is legitimate, like business ownership, to work for them, okay? What will you, especially because you have the financial background, I want you to talk from that place of professionalism now. Tell us, what is your advice, professional advice to this set of people? Thank you, Motoraya. And that question is really apt. It's really on point. Because a whole lot of us, right, we probably just do things because people are doing things. Mm -hmm. um, or we probably just do things because that is exactly, you know, that is status quo. So I'm just going to follow the line and be very traditional about it. Um, in this age and time, if any individual still keeps money in the bank, and I'm not talking a couple of dollars, I'm talking thousands, that's what I'm referring to, and they have it like backed there in the bank, they're probably making the, the worst mistake of their lifetime. That's what I'll tell you. Because there are so many factors that will fight against that money. One is time value of money. Another thing is inflation. I know we're not going to probably go deeper into any of those, but putting your money in the bank stocked up and just like, okay, I just want to keep looking at it. It's saving it. You've just, you know, made the worst error. Now, the reason why I said that is because every game in life as a rule, right? every game for those of you who probably love soccer there are rules behind playing mm -hmm. soccer mm -hmm. so if you don't understand the rule of that game and then you venture into that game you've mm -hmm. just lost it do yeah. you agree with me now mm -hmm. the same thing applies to money now if you don't understand the rule behind money then you would have just lost in that game mm -hmm. now the game that really you know Overs around money keeping management and all that is what I call compound, compounding, compounding. Yeah. And so in a situation whereby you just have your money locked up somewhere, it's not compounding for you. How about you put that same money into legitimate, you know, ethical business venture that could mm -hmm. yield return for you? We are blessed business partners here, along with other 137,000, 138,000 yet counting business mm -hmm. owners, who probably also taught within themselves. We taught within ourselves and then we started something, right? Meaning we put the capital down because we know that locking our money in the bank is not going to work for us, no. right? What, putting your money in the bank, as a matter of fact, let me just be very frank with you. You're working for the bank, okay? Mm -hmm. The bank has just literally employed you. Yeah. And why did I say that? Because the bank takes that money and they invest it so that they can get re return, right, mm -hmm. for that money. 
I won't go into the, you know, the intricacies of all of this and all that for just to save time and all that. But if you literally put money in the bank, you're working for the bank. Okay. You are not ripping from what I call the compound effect and then the compound, you know, and compounding that comes with your money management. You've just transferred that responsibility over to the bank. The bank yeah. is making that while you're making nothing. Literally, that's just what has happened. But understanding the rule of the game would make you and I, just like we've done, right, put our money where it will work for us. Mutirayo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have a system in place, and you know that. Right. What do I call our system? It means you're saving yourself the time, the energy, and money so that you can put certain things in place, and then it works for you. My mm -hmm. other lady talked about the passive income streams. That is exactly what we have in our community. Yeah. We're talking about one single system, and we're talking about what multiple income streams. One single system popping out multiple income streams for you. You are able to unleash your residual income. You are able to unleash other passive income that is very legitimate. Folks, whether you're listening on right now, you're going to catch up on this replay. You have a URL smiling at you. We also here smiling at you. Reach out to any one of us. Stop putting that money, those bulk of thousands that you have locked up in the bank. Hey, this is 21st century. Stop working for the bank. Yeah. Make your money work for you. Thank you, Motoraya. <laughs> Make your money work for you. Yes. Stop mm -hmm. getting that 0 0.001 <laughs> interest. <laughs> <laughs> yes okay now is the time so i know we have a lot of questions that we we ought to deal with today but because we are fast approaching that time i will go to omolara omolara you know we, what will you say will you say that um living a legacy for our children is better achieved when we work for money or it's better achieved when our money is working for us because of course we all, I mean, dream of leaving legacies for our children, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And not liabilities. So, delve into it. All right. Thank you, Motrayo. Um, I want to say, um, you leaving a legacy for your family or for your children. I mean, let's be real at this time. It can only you can only achieve it when you allow money to work for you. Mm -hmm. You can achieve that when you working for money. Working multiple jobs. I mean, think of it. Before you pay all these bills, where on heart will you have savings mm -mm. To, lay, to say you want to put in, in an account for your children or probably to lay a legacy for your children? That can only be achieved. And in its simplest term, your legacy is something, I mean, meaningful that you give to the people who come after you. Maybe your children, your children, your children, your, if, you are, if you are fortunate to, not to have a children, you can leave a legacy for family. You can leave a legacy for, um, for the homeless, you know, for, chari for charitable work. So if you are having nine to five, how can you achieve that? Yeah. You know, if you are working for money, how can all this be achieved? Then to everyone out there listening to us right now, your action can exert a positive influence far into your future the the choice that you're making right now the choice that you make between now and the day you depart this world have the power to live a lasting legacy your legacy might impact your children it might impact your family it might impact your community or even the world at large choosing to build a legacy will do what will just um will bring meaningful and purpose to your life mm -hmm. you might see the benefits of your action Maybe now you might see the benefits of your gift while you are still alive, but the result of what you get will continue after you, after you have passed on, after your death. Mm -hmm. Then the process of um, how to live your how to live a legacy it starts with you identifying your goal, mm -hmm. identifying what you really want to do in life. Your legacy might quietly help your family flourish into the future, and then um, having. Um, uh, having can actually allow having um, more money or more more uh, what's it? yeah let me put it that way having more money can actually allow you to leave a good legacy for family 
than working for someone for the rest of your life without any balance. So we here tonight, we, what we are saying is for you, so for money to work for you instead of you, you know, jumping from one, one, uh, one job to the other. If you're doing that, I don't see any, 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 any uh, purpose in doing that. Mm. Because doing that, there is no way you can leave a legacy for your children. And that's the reason why we have this business. And we are preaching to you every day, every now and then that you having a business is the best. I'm not saying, don't get me wrong. You have a job, right? We all, we all still have a nine to five that we're doing, but still we have something on the side. If we don't have this thing on the side, like, okay, for instance, for me personally, I have, um, I have something that God has laid in my heart, you know, to do to the world. But if I'm still chasing after money, if I'm still chasing uh, multiple jobs, how am I going to achieve all that? I can't achieve all that. But me having one full-time job, which is taking care of my bill, then my business can, can in turn, I mean, replace every other income from yeah. all those other multiple jobs, which is that it has automatically, uh, automatically replaced it. So I can work on what God has placed in my heart, you mm -hmm. know, to, to the world. So my business is working for me, whether I'm there or I'm not there. I'm not overworking myself anymore, simply because of what? Simply because I want to lay a legacy for my children, which mm. I know the only way I can do it is for me to have a business of my own. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. All right. In one, in one cent, I mean, one minute, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Pat, I want you to, you know, encourage people watching us now those that are thinking of i mean making their money work for them do you think that discipline has mm. anything to do when it comes to making your money work for you oh In a minute, please. Yeah. absolutely uh and i'm sure um maintaining fine um like maintaining financial discipline sometimes is a tough thing to do okay but i always say visualize your dream um one thing you can do to help yourself Keep your financial discipline and 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 reach your goal is um, have a a purpose. Okay, um, let's say you want to buy hey a five gorgeous bedroom five bedroom house on acres of land. You know, with your family in it. Visualize that. Um, one of the best way to stay financially disciplined. And if you don't have um, a dream ahead of you if you don't have something that you want to do let's say hey you want your kids to go to go to a private school we all know that's expensive here in america or europe wherever you are it's expensive okay maybe that's your dream your dream is to travel the world okay um have a focus i always say that be like big focus close your eyes and daydream about your future, okay? Um, with a house, the happy children, your, you know, your husband or wife in there. I feel like that's the only thing that's going to keep you disciplined. Something okay. that you have ahead of you to do. Okay. It's not just that. Like um, Sister Omolora said, um, she has some, God has put in something in her heart to do. I have okay. the same thing in Ghana. I'm from Ghana. Um, and where my mom died in her village, I want to build a church there. Okay. Amen. That's something Amen. that I want to do. And um, before my mom died, she left us with this um, woman, Reverend Christy Doteta. And every time I'm like, I want to help her build churches all over Ghana and wherever she wants to. That's my dream. Mm. And so that's something that I look forward to. And even before I, I got into our business, I mean, I wasn't doing that. I was just spending money anyhow I wanted, you know, buying whatever I want. And not until I got into this business and I was listening to other business owners and, you know, their testimonials, where they came from and where they are now and what is ahead of them. And, you know, they teach us how to put money aside to do things that we want to do for our future. And I said it before, your children's colleges, it's expensive. You don't, if you are in debt right now because of students loan, you don't want your children to do, go through the same thing. Oh my no God. Way. Yes. <laughs> I'm still paying. 
Okay. It's been how many years? I don't want my daughter to go through the same thing I went through. I want to be able to pay for her college fully. And so I feel like that's something, have a dream in mind. It could be mm -hmm. for your children. You, maybe you're not married, you're single, and some people don't want to get married. So it could be just for you. You want to travel the world. You want to invest. You want to do real estate, something, but by all means. Because if you don't have a dream, you're just going to throw your money away. And at the end of the day, you're the one that's going to struggle. You're the one that is going to suffer. I know people that have money before, lived in beautiful $1 million homes, and now they're living in apartments. Mm. Okay, I know people personally. And so that tells me they didn't have a dream. Or they were just living in the now. Okay, hey, I want everybody to know I'm living in a, a million dollar home or whatever. I'm driving a fancy car. Hey, if you're driving a Toyota and it can take you from point A to point B, that's the most important thing. Not because somebody's driving a Lexus, a Mercedes, whatever. I had a Mercedes. It was repossessed. Um, okay. Now I'm driving yeah. a Honda. And, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, and I'm more comfortable. Like I'm able to take care of my bills, do the things that I want to do, and know that, hey, I'm saving towards my daughter's, you know, my daughter's sure. future. I'm saving towards where I want to be in the next two or three <laughs> years. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Hey, people, you've heard it all. So to round this up, Adebola, uh, now I'm serious. One minute. <laughs> ah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right, you know, we right. have a lot to talk about. And what yeah. Pat was saying, I will encourage us, everybody watching this, catching up on the replay. If you are not someone that does your vision board, Please make it a point of duty to create a virtual vision board, something that you can see and put it where it is very, very obvious for you, okay? To always keep you in contact with what your desire, your dream is. Okay. Um, <laughs> in a nutshell, I want Adebola to give us, you know, what, what is your, like, your advice? as we round up this topic this evening. Thank All you. right, I mean, we've said a lot and uh, and we've gone past our time seriously. I'm just gonna say that, uh, make sure you take something from what we've all, you know, uh, talked about tonight. If you are really looking to make money work for you, if you would love that to happen, start your own business, mm -hmm. at least that is something I know that I, I can give you Mudupe said a lot, uh, Pat, Omolara, even Moturayo, take something back today and work on it, all right? And we hope that the new year will bring more blessings for everyone. And, you know, mm -hmm. I just want to say, don't, do, uh, don't just sit and do nothing. You need to take mm -hmm. action, do something so that you can get good results back. All right. Thank you so much. And you're wondering how you can be part of our business. Look at those URL in front of each of us. You can, I mean, click into anyone, just put your name and your email, and you will reserve a spot for yourself to watch a free webinar that will give you access into what our business is all about. Remember, the more money you work for, the mm -hmm. less you have to, I mean, for money. Yeah. The more your money works for you, the less you have to work for money. That's, right. that's it. And that's from Idowu um, Koye Nikon. Idowu Koye Nikon. Okay? Thank you so much. And we wish you a wonderful, wonderful and restful evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.